Let's make a quick desert scene. Deserts are mainly found on Earth, but we have seen them on Mars and other planets too. Deserts are mainly full of sand and rocks and dirt, but sometimes have plants. I liked the desert because once we drove through it on the way to pick up some of my daddy's special candy and, and I saw a lizard. <laughs> just, just kidding. That, that story is only half true. Let's make a quick desert scene. The first thing I like to do is zero out the camera. I hit Alt G and Alt R, then spin it 90 degrees down the Y axis. I also raise it like a meter off the ground. The next thing I'll do is create a grid with subdivisions at 100 and size at 50 meters. That should be large enough to get a sense of scale. M maybe, we'll, we'll see. Then I move the grid by 25 meters on the Y axis to center it. You don't have to do this, and if you're building a game level, keep it centered. I'm doing this for composition. The next thing we can do is go into sculpting mode and turn off, turn off symmetry because it, it just sucks for this and go into camera mode and start pulling up the hills. This is a blocking phase so just get an idea of what you want it to look like. You can grab references from the internet too if you want. It, it's a good idea and I'd show you if not for copyright issues and the fact that I can't find my own images from the desert at the moment. Once you are happy with your own composition, add in a texture map. I love the stuff up on cc0textures.com. There's one I'll use from there called Ground 29 8K. It's huge, but you'll want that resolution. You could go with less, but if you have the power, I, I kind of recommend going with a higher resolution. I build the shader to look like this. Since the textures from that site come in zip files as a pack of different textures, we can use roughness, diffuse, and bump. Go easy on the bump or it, it just it just, just looks, looks silly. Next we can load in an HDRI image. Go to World, hit Use Nodes, and add an HDRI image. I got one called Quarry01 from HDRI Haven. It's an excellent site who relies on patrons. So if you don't ever actually sign up to mine, which has a cool link in the description for you, definitely sign up to his and CC0 Textures. Their bandwidth alone must kill those dudes every month. Once we load it in, we can spin it around. Get some angle that you like, and there. Now set the texture scale to something that you can tolerate. I chose 4 here. Now it's time for rocks. If you watched my last video on making a cave, this is pretty much the same technique. I'm using a cube and adding a subdivision surface modifier set to 3 on both the viewport and the render settings. It's important to do this or your render will look different than it does in the viewport. Next, add in a displace modifier, hit new, then the little slider icon thingy, then open and load in the displacement image from the CC0 texture zip file, or any displacement you have. You'll need to unzip it first to a folder, but I digress. I'm using rock 294 k from that site. That makes a rock. Now we can build a shader for that rock too. The images are labeled, so plug them into the correct slots on the principled shader like this. Pause the video if you need to, or watch this like five times and totally boost me on YouTube. Your call. With this rock, play with the displace strength, set coordinates to global so when you duplicate and move these things they warp and change and give you variety, and scatter, duplicate, and move them around until you get something you like. The textures will warp, but we can fix this later on by changing global back to local and just kind of massaging the whole thing in. You'll notice something as you do this. You can smash the rocks into each other and not really see too many seams, even in broad daylight, which is a result of having bump, displace, and texture on them. But where they intersect the sand, that's where it sucks. So I'm going to show you how to fix that now. In order to smooth the transition between the rocks and the sand, we can paint the rock texture onto the sand texture and it will blend better. To do this, we can duplicate the entire shader node graph and move it up. Add in a mixed shader node and plug the duplicated nodes into the bottom slot. Then we can add in a mixed shader node. This will mix both shaders, the rock and the sand. To control the mixing, we can create an image node, hit new, name it mask or something, I made mine 2048 by 2048 pixels, and turned on 32-bit float, that's optional. Now plug it into FAC on the mixed shader node and drop the object mode down to texture paint. With the image node you created selected, you can now paint the rock texture onto the surface of the sand texture and ooh, now you get blending. Just do this around the rocks and it'll look better. I'll now spend some time rearranging the deck chairs on this Titanic. Uh, oh yeah, wait, oh, that, that looks better. Now something really cool. You can paint another texture in and create a trail by just duplicating the sand texture and darkening it, then painting the trail to make it look a bit more traveled. You can even add more mixed shaders and other textures if you want and really rough this thing up. 
You can endlessly tweak this more than there are tweakers in the desert. Clean up the texture warping on the rocks by switching back to local mode on the displace modifier in some cases, and really just work this until you're happy. Feel free to create a particle system on the sand. Duplicate a rock, make it smaller with less bump, and scatter it on the surface using hair. This part is optional, but I'll include it in the file on my Patreon. The link is in the description if you want. This renders well on both EV and cycles. I hope you learned something in this short video. Hit subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Thanks.